Hello everyone, this is Marcel Dupit, and in this video, I'm about to walk through about configuring Radio Server 2012. But before we begin the activity, however, there is a little bit setup that we need to do. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we have two server. And for server 1, here we need to go ahead and add a network policy server role. And then we dig down right here so we need this row network policy and access services network policy server specifically and now let's install all the defaults and then after installing the next thing that we need to do is to configure a VPN server to test ranges so I'm gonna use the secret secondary server for that and then here we needed to add an additional row and use the routing and remote access row so click come in we have remote access installed And so we get an L hit and open up to get started. And we wanna ahead and start configuring. We are doing this as VPN. And here we select server to connect to the internet. And we can do this automatically if we want to use the HTTP. Or you can specify right here, but I'm gonna go to automatically by default. And here we can choose to set up the work widgets and then we should receive a couple of warnings is the CP must be configured with the H, uh, the SP agent that point to the HCP server. And then you may get also another warning that say it can't auth authenticate with the Active Directory. We can't integrate directly to the, with the Active Directory that require a little bit additional configuration that I'm not gonna go into. So we can see here most of the setup. Now we're actually going to configure the Regis server. To enable the con this connection, so we're back in server 1, the primary server. It has our policy server. We're gonna select a rigid server for dot for our VPN and then configure VPN. We're going to specify VPN and automatic populated this. You can modify this with whatever text you want in here. I'm gonna leave with this default. And first thing we need to do is our regis clients where to point this over to our other server and we can add the main environment For IP address, if you have static IP address for your server, then you probably find just go ahead and give it the IP address and resolve it. Then OK. And I don't have templates for secret, so so I'm not gonna worry that yet. So I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna go leave this one by default. 
It's the newest version that's fairly strong security protocols and that the password is encrypted. So if your environment well supported, I would recommend using MS Jab V2. In here, we can specify user groups or Active Directory user groups that the policy will affect so you can leave it to specific people that are allowed to use this type, type of VPN through your regions. So we gonna leave that empty. And here we can configure the IPv4 and IPv6 packet filters. This will allow us to gonna control and restrict the network traffic that is sent to receive. And we gonna not worry about filters right now, so I'm gonna leave this default. And our encryption settings will allow us to specify minimum encryption levels. And this environment, I'm gonna leave the whatever works for it. And in Realm name, I haven't used this default yet, so I'm gonna leave this default. And well, continue. I am gonna leave this default again. And now the next thing we're gonna do is to configure routing and remote access to use Regis authentication. So we're gonna have to go to server 2. And then routing and remote access. We're gonna open up the property box for server 2 here. I will select the security tab. And here, instead of using Windows authentication, we want to use Regis authentication. And, of course, we need to configure it. And we're gonna add in server one, which is should configure for this. In here, the secret that we created, and I wanna keep simple that Microsoft recommend make it fairly complex. So I'm gonna leave this all default. And then once finishes configuring, I wanna same thing for the accounting provider. Again, leaving this all default. Let it configure dot. Once this finishes installing and configuration, we're gonna restart the routing and remote access services, which we do right here. And once this finish, here we go. So right click on server mode, go to all tasks and click restart. All right, we're done here. But quickly, I'm going to grab the IP address to make sure and know what my address is. Now, now we're gonna create a VPN connection from server one to server two. So we can close this. And here the address comes in the play.
And now let's try to log in. And here it's now connected. So, and that's how setting up the Regis Brad birthday. So, that's what we all thank you for watching.